Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Nemes Point. In this particular tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to design a school ID card in Microsoft Word. This is the particular design we are going to bake right now and I'll show you every step by step procedure which you can replicate, which you can follow and replicate this particular design. So without a further ado, let's start the design by taking a blank document. Once we have the blank document, we get rid of the margins and set the page size. So we go to the layout, margins, custom margins and we set all the margins to zeros. Then we go to the paper section and we set the paper size like the height is 3.3 and the width is 2.5. It is absolutely critical because once you want to download rather the print, take the printout of the ID card, if you don't have the particular page orientation right, the printout won't come as expect it and it will have a very difficult for you to come up with a uh, like a like a exact id card okay so let's start the design by pressing ok if you get any prompt message just simply ignore that increase the page size by pressing control on your keyboard and by up scrolling we go to the insert section we take a shape a rectangular shape click and drag Go to the line, align, align center. Go to the shape fill, change the color. Go to the shape outline, no outline. That we do not have any outline of this particular shape. Okay, once again, we go to the shape. Take an oval shape, press shift on your keyboard and keep dragging that we have a circular effect. Reduce the size a bit. Fine tune the placement. Go to the shape fill option. Shape fill with the picture. Here you can use uh, the school logo, okay, that is very critical, the particular like the ID card for the school, you can in include the logo here, school logo here, use, try to use the PNG picture that it doesn't have any shadow, background shadow, go to the no outline, okay, now in this section we are going to use, first by changing the color we are going to use the school name. In order to include the skin na school name, you need a text box. So go to the insert section, text box, take a draw a text box option, type here school name like ABC Elementary E L E Remain T O R Y School. That's it. You can change the school name to anything you like. Change the font style and font size, play with it, whatever you like, you can utilize that, but make sure that school name is eligible and clearly be, anyone can clearly read that, just putting their first glance. Adjust the font size and style that it can be accommodated in the given space. Do not use any extra space on text box. Go to the shape outline, no outline. Change the color. Okay, looks nice now. This section is completed, okay? Next. If you want to give any like a tagline for your school, you can include in this section like a uh, home of quality education. A home of quality education. You can use any other tagline if you like. If you do not have tagline, just simply ignore this section. Adjust the text box. As I said time and again, that do not use any extra space. 
go to the shape option one more time take this rectangular one click and drag and so we should go to the edit point section this section is going to be quite critical so i would like to ask you to pay a proper attention so we are going to select the edge and then keep dragging towards our desired direction then we select here and keep dragging towards up this section little here that we have a somewhat a curvy effect one more time go to the shape option take a straight line and we just treat it with flex copy the existing line select here and place it till here we'll have a visual guidance okay that's why we need, we took this too now we are going to adjust this particular shape click and drag till here fantastic keep and drag till here adjust when you click on the edge you will have a like adjusting point ready if you get confused always click on the edge and that adjusting point will appear you can also keep dragging left and right here we'll adjust it to here this one we need to fine tune a little further And front you can also press left, right, top and bottom arrow key on your keyboard to adjust the placement. Not only the mouse, but you can use the keyboard option as well. Adjust the point as long as you need to to get your desired effect. I'll show you what we are going to achieve once we are done with it. Okay, we have we are all already done, so we are going to delete these two shape. We use these two like straight lines as a visual guidance. Look, this is what we got from a rectangular shape. This option is absolutely critical and very helpful in Microsoft Word to get any desired shape as you like. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll adjust the placement once we include more option, like more text in the ID card. Now here, we are going to insert a text box, but before that, we are going to use a rectangular shape. Click and drag. In the bottom section, we are going to give another stylish effect by using the edit points. I'll show you how to do that. Click and drag till here. Click, select and drag little lower. This section goes little higher. Adjust this point. See, we are going to get a very curvy effect from a simple rectangular shape. How is it? Looks nice, right? If you do not have any existing shape in Microsoft Word, do not worry. Because if you know how to use the edit points option, you can literally get any shape as you like. Okay. You made um, sure that it has does not have any outline as well. Now go to the shape one more time. Take an rectangular rounded corner shape. Click and drag. I will give. Here we are going to insert the kid picture, the ID card of the kid who is going to carry it. So go to the picture section. We have already downloaded a something picture. This you can use a placeholder instead. You are, if you are going to uh, automate this particular theme, like the ID card thing, you can instead of this like exact normal picture, you can use a placeholder and you can 
like insert any like a uh, random student picture in it okay now we are going to include all the details of the student like name father's name id number date of birth blood group phone number address if it uh, necessary to give and and this section is quite easy all you have to do is follow and just simply use normal microsoft word formatting and you can replicate the procedure quite simple so we without like uh, wasting much time with first forward this section and uh, once necessary i'll again come back and explain you the next steps okay so we are going to first forward this section Well, we have uh, completed all the necessary information of the ID card, like all the information one should have, uh, like ID card should have. Now, we need one final thing and that is the signature of the principal. That is one, so one of the very critical element of an ID card to authenticate that this ID card is belong to a particular school and the principal has authorized that. What you have to do is first type the principal name in a text box, click and drag and uh, fine tune the placement. Take a separator as a straight line, go to the shape and drag a step line, increase the weightage, change the color if you need to, give it a dash effect as well, weightage, we just increase the weightage a little bit, like let's keep it one, okay, here what we have to do is just use a name as a signature as a, as a particular signature, okay. Uh, what you can do is uh, you can take a signature in like a written format signature of the principal and take the scanning copy of that signature okay so we have already have a, like a demo scan copy of the signature and we are going to insert that as a picture so first take a shape click and drag make sure you do not type or do anything you just insert that as a picture go to the save field for the picture option form a file and you can insert that as a picture go to the shape outline no outline and fine tune the adjustment like placement you can change the color if you need to as well and i'll show you how to change the color for any picture as well select that go to the shape field gradient more gradient color option picture, picture color and from here you can change the any color if you like i just show you the option like a uh, option uh, like the option how you can do that and you can replicate like and use any color if you like okay this is this is it we have already completed the id card design and uh, you can automate that as well and you can also download this template from the given link in the description if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe our channel so in future whenever you come up with a new video you can get an instant notification thanks for watching and we'll catch you in your next video